Hello, YouTube fam. How y'all doing? It's your Uncle Tim. How you doing, Timsters? This is Uncle Tim Rants and Reviews, a channel where I do a lot of ranting and a lot of reviewing. First of all, thank you for watching. Thank you for all the love and the support. Thank you for all the positive energy that you bring. Thank you for being here and just, this is not just a channel. This is a community, a safe space where you can talk amongst one another and no fear of uh, backlash or nothing like that because not here. We're not doing that. Fam, I'm going to say something. And I'm going to make sure I say it. I'm going to make sure I say it clear. I said what I said in the last video. I said what I said. I did not in that video, not once, mention anybody by name. Two, I did not say don't watch anybody. I said I'm tired of people just like this. I'm tired of people waiting to the end of the video to tell you that they got the product for free. Tell me in the beginning. You had me watch your whole damn video. It's nothing wrong with watching somebody who get product from the manufacturer. It ain't no problem with that. But the problem is, don't wait to the end to tell me. Let me have the option to opt out. Don't wait to the end and be like, ah, yeah. You know what? It's a lot of people here on shit. A lot of people felt that I pointed the finger at them. A lot of people are calling me messy. They saying that, you know, I keep shit going. I, I, you know, I'm into drama. This act, this is an act that I'm doing. It's no damn act. It's a real person tired of people on bullshit. I'm spending my money for this stuff back here. Nobody giving me a damn thing. And I'm not mad at anybody who get any damn thing. And I'm making sure I say that. Because, see, this is why I'm getting mad. Because people are putting words in my mouth. And when you do shit like that, that starts a whole bunch of other shit. And I got to make sure I reiterate that. I don't need nobody to talk for me. I don't need a mouthpiece. I'm very good at what I do. I don't need nobody to talk for me. But I'm going to make sure I say it loud and clear. You know what? We need people here that are about the community. I once had a person that I was close to here on YouTube, you know, talk shit about all the companies. I mean, they just talk shit. All the videos in the beginning, they just kept talking shit. That's all they did was talk garbage. And I was like, man, what's up with that, man? No, uh -huh, I'm just keeping it real, man. I'm just keeping it real. I'm telling them how I feel. And, you know, I said, okay, I get it. I get it. Man, I'm not slandering him. I'm just telling the truth. And honestly, he was telling the truth. But as soon is they sent him some product and say, oh yeah, we don't have you on one of our teams to do this on a month to month basis. Do you know all those videos changed? Do you know all those old videos that he did? He took them down. I understand you want to secure your bag. You want to secure a livelihood, whereas you can make a living out of this. I get it. But don't make it seem like you didn't say all that shit in the beginning. Let's keep it real. You know, see, I'm a real person. I'm just like you. We real. We spending our money. And like I said, some people do great reviews. They do. Some people are great YouTubers. They are. Some people are good at some of these toy channels. They are. Fam, but you know what? I have the right to feel the way I want to feel. This is the way I feel. I'm not telling you to feel this way. If you are feeling this way, that means you feel it too. It's not somebody just speaking out of turn saying, oh, wow, you know, I just want to keep some shit started. You know, I'm going to start drumming the whole community. This community already been in drum. People can't see you do any damn thing. Just like in these groups, you post some stuff for the stuff you bought. Man, people should want, oh, man, people are doing so much shade. It's crazy. People are hating on you. They're asking for the damn receipt. You in your damn house with the damn product in your hand. What else do you need? <laughs> Damn, do I got to lie about stuff? Do anybody out there got to lie about the shit that they get? Excuse all the language. I'm serious. You know, because I know that there are little kids that watch because a lot of them told me and a lot of the parents was like, Unc, what's going on with you? No, I'm feeling the feel. You know, I'm a whole grown ass man. I am. I got kids. I got a whole ass wife over here. <laughs> She's a whole wife, you know full grown wife. <laughs> She's awesome. 
And she was just like, damn, what is going on over there? I said, man, I said, it's like the minute, you know, the companies we talking about drop some shit, everybody forget all the shit they done to us. You know how we've been waiting for product for damn near all our life. You know, shit. I was waiting on um, Sepinto ever since I was 15, damn it. You know how many years ago that was? Fail. Shit, Super 7, same thing. All of these companies, you having issues because a lot of them don't care. That's what the company. But then when you get to the YouTuber, you think they supposed to be a little bit better because they supposed to be a reflection of you damn near. It's like once they make it big, they don't need you anymore. You just an accessory. You like a damn handbag or something, a pair of shoes. No, I helped you get you where you at. I helped you secure a bag. Now all of a sudden you making it seem like you did this shit on your own. I not once when I'm here say I done this, we done this, us. This is our channel. You know, I take, you know, uh, questions and every damn thing else if you want to leave something and let me know what you want to talk about just put it on one of the videos or you know i left my email here plenty of times but you know sometimes you know shit it gets <laughs> past me you know i ask people you know to send me their pictures you know for the community page and a lot of them feeling threatened they feeling harassed they feeling like people gonna lash out at them and you know say some stuff i understand that I feel that. You know, everybody got the right to their opinion. They got the right to the way they want to display their collection, whether it's inbox or outside box. It's up to you. Nobody can tell you what the hell you doing. Nobody can tell you you right or wrong. This is the way you do your stuff. You do you, and I'm going to do me. See, I can respect all that. People say, hey, look, uh, they've been saying shit, and I, I got to address all of it. It's like, uh, you've been slowly changing over a period of time. No, my character has always been here in every video. Man, you got to call spades a spade. You just don't sit there and just let this shit ride. And you sitting here dealing with this and you looking around like, am I the only one that noticed this? You know, someone was asking me the other day, man, do you notice? I noticed. I've been noticing for a while that a lot of these damn YouTubers, you know, I'm not regular people any damn more. I'm like, man, you know, and I understand we all got different budgets. We got different pockets. We got different jobs. We got different responsibilities. We got different everything. And, you know, and I can respect that, you know, but the thing that I get upset about is you trying to tell me how to be me and see, that's the wrong thing there. You can't tell a grown ass man how to be. And see, these are the things that I'm getting from a lot of people because a lot of people are feeling upset because they feel like nobody's paying, you know, attention to the real issues going on here. You know, fam, I've been looking at a lot of stuff, fam. We've been feeling like we've been neglected for a long time about, you know, these toy companies. And people have been asking, why am I offering alternatives like things like that? Why I've been banned? Um, and no, I am not sponsored by anybody, but shit, I started buying these little, um, final sections because I was like, man, you know, I'm just trying to find a place to display them. <laughs> I said, I'm gonna put a floating shelf up and set them up, you know, on the top so I could actually look at them. Fam, this is what I'm talking about. I'm talking about winning. I'm not talking about losing. You know, I'm talking about buying product there. You know, product that's there. You know, people saying, what's wrong with pre-orders, huh? What's wrong with pre-orders? It's every damn thing wrong with pre-orders. Lately, we've been waiting for pre-orders from certain manufacturers forever. And it feels like we're never going to get our product. Then, you know, in the midst of every damn thing, you get hit with damn near multiple pre-orders. And you paying an arm and a damn leg when you didn't expect it. Or, you know, the vanishing charge and the reappearing charge, the on again, off again charge. You know, look, I don't got time for that. He's a charge me and we just wait. And that's good with me. But don't fucking play. Oh, man, don't play with me. And see, this is the thing that I've been getting at. And this is the thing that just been irking me for so long. 
you know what? It's like we've been putting up with so much shit. It, it's, it's just real. You know, I'm tired of drinking a damn Kool-Aid. I'm tired of going along with all this shit. It's just too much. Man. You know, before somebody be like, damn, hold on, Unc, are you indoctrinating us into a damn coat? No. I'm just letting you know how I feel. It feels like I've been drinking the damn Kool-Aid like I'm trapped in a damn Matrix or something. Fam, it looks like this is not real. It can't be. When your main job as a toy company is to sell toys, then you see YouTubers with the toys, but the people who buy the toys don't have the toys and want to buy the toys. How does that work? Have I went into Bizarro Land or something? Have I went into an alternate dimension or somewhere? Where shit don't make sense. I thought the job of all these companies was to make money. Fam, your unk has just been sitting here after he got off work. I used to love to go hunt, you know, um, I used to drive around with the kiddos, you know, they kids and stuff like that. And just used to ride around with the wife, you know, like after we get off work and, you know, we go grocery shopping and, you know, we see if there's anything in the aisles, or anything like that. And fam, you know what? Going from one dusty store with tumbleweeds in it to another and you feeling some kind of way. Then you go online to pre-order some stuff and pe people like pre-order is the only way. So you get there, all the damn pre-orders sold out, and you're like, you're like, and I understand why people are ready now to throw the damn towel in. I get it. I always got it. It's just, you know, it's like, you damned if you do, and you damned if you don't. And people always have some sort of criticism. And see, that's the thing. You're dealing with the people who are naysayers. No, uh, I'm going to buy it. I don't care how much it costs. Okay, cool. I'm confused. I never told you not to buy it. I never told you not to spend your money. You work hard for your damn money. You can do whatever it is you please with, with your money. But the thing that your uncle getting so mad at here is that I don't think people see everybody's viewpoint. I think people are seeing one viewpoint and saying, hey, Unc, you can just go to different uh, reviewers and just watch different channels and be okay. I'm good with that. I do that now. I'm just saying I'm tired of looking at videos where people are doing individuals. I'm talking about different people doing toy videos. Then at the end of the video, you find out that they got it for free. You find out that this... Yeah, they hear the damn, you know, they feel, you know, the damn health of this damn industry. This industry right now, this 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 community right now is kind of toxic. And, you know, people are trying to point the finger at me and say, I'm the one that's toxic. No, I'm pointing out the shit. I'm pointing out the damn hypocrites. How could you be a damn hypocrite and feel that you are the one and that you, you being wrong somehow? You the victim. You're not the victim. Damn, it's like, man. <laughs> and people like, damn, huh? you know, like, what is really going on? You okay over there? Did you take your medication? Yes, I took my medication. I'm a whole grown ass man. I'm older than a lot of you all. I just don't look like it. I am really old. And when I say, you know, I'm just frustrated, I am. You know, I remember, hell, what? Shit, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, the 2000s. The 2010s, we in the 20s now, and you sitting here in the 20s, you like, where the hell is everything at? But fam, thanks for watching. To later, peace out.